hi friends uh, welcome to globmic so today i am going to uh, tell you about how to convert uh, udl that is a uniformly distributed load and uvl that is uniformly varying load to a point load okay so now we will consider for first case that is udl to point load so now in this one we have a 5 meter span 30 kN per meter intensity of UDL so that is acting throughout the beam for 5 meter okay we have vertical forces VA and VB at the support A and B okay so now how to convert this UDL to point load so first we need to calculate the what is what will be the magnitude of the point load okay so first we will find magnitude of point load is equal to okay that is area of udl this magnitude of the point load can be calculated by the area of udl okay so here udl is in the form of a rectangle so what is the area of the rectangle that is base into height uh, same concept area of udl is nothing but area of this rectangle shape that is base into height so now what is the base that is we having 5 meter into height is nothing but intensity 30 kilo newton per meter so okay now we will solve so 5 into 30 is nothing but 150 now the unit here the meter meter gets cancels so only kilonewton remains that is 150 kilonewton is the magnitude of the point load okay so now we will draw the same beam a b having vertical forces v a and v b for the span of 5 meter okay so now we have got 150 kN point load now the question comes where actually the point load is acting so actually this 150 kN point load is act, acts at mid of the UDL actually here UDL is acting for 5 meter so mid of 5 meter is 2.5 meter therefore this 150 kilonewton point load will be acting at 2.5 meter this is 150 kilonewton point load is acting mid of this 5 meter that is mid of this udl that is 2.5 meter so now we have easily converted udl to a point load okay now we have second case that is uvl to point load uniformly varying load to point load so here also we have same ab length having 5 meter and this uvl is having intensity 40 kN per meter so at the b end it is a zero intensity and it is increasing gradually up to 40 kN per meter at point a now how to convert this uvl into a point load so same thing magnitude of point load is equal to there we have we had area of udl here area of u v l okay next step so now what is the area of u v l u v l is in the shape of triangle therefore the area will be area of triangle will be half into base into height now what is half what is the base that is 5 meter now what is the height that is 40 kilo newton 40 kilo newton per meter so solve this one 5 into 4 is 200 
200 by 2 is 100 this meter this meter cancels kilonewton remains therefore magnitude of the point load will be 100 kilonewton so now we will try so that same beam a b v a v b okay now the question comes where actually this 100 kilo newton point load is acting okay so now this 100 kilo newton point load will be acting at a distance l by 3 from the maximum load intensity side okay now this is the side having maximum load intensity that is 40 kilo newton per meter therefore from this side the length will be l by 3 and from the zero intensity side from the zero load that is from b point it is acting 2l by 3 uh, l by 3 from point a 2l by 3 from point b so now what is l l is actually l is actually 5 meter 5 by 3 is nothing but 1.66 meter and 2l by 3 is nothing but 3.33 meter okay so the l by 3 that may be here that is the load is 100 kilo newton point load is acting at this point this distance is from l that one is l by 3 that is 1.66 meter and from the other side that is 2 l by 3 the distance will be 3.33 meter if you like this video don't forget to like comment and share so to get more videos like this subscribe to my channel thank you